Okay, Janet, you need to unmute now. Is okay. okay. How you doing? I'm doing fine. How you doing? Great. So now we see each other. We've been talking to each other for a while. That's true. That's true. Great. As Muslims, we feel left behind because we are supposed to give this message to as many people as possible. And if this message is not going out there, then we feel kind of guilty that how, where did we left behind? Why did you have to search and knock on our door rather than representing ourselves or inviting other people to this beautiful way of life? So just go ahead and introduce yourself, please. Okay, my name's um, Jeanette Clinton Holly. I'm named after my father's grandmother. And I was born in Lancaster, South Carolina. I'm a South Carolina country girl. And I haven't moved around a lot. I'm more of a settled person. I, this is the furthest north I've ever lived in Morrisville, North Carolina. <laughs> uh, my job moved me up here. And it's been, it's been a journey. I have a beautiful daughter. She's 35 years old, but she has her life. She's an independent. She's a strong person. She's an athletic trainer. And she, she's my closest confidant. Uh, she had to work tonight, so I didn't bother her. But me and her, she's we are thick as these. And I, I have a brother and sister. I told you about my sister. She um, was Muslim, but she left, but she never did tell me why. And I never, me and her don't push each other on questions like that. Um, if you tell me something and I'm in agreement with it, I won't push back. But if I have questions, I do push. Um, I did, as far as my um, life, um, I, my, my mom's still alive. My dad passed away. And my grandmother was my biggest influence. So she was 108 when she passed away. Bless her heart. was two years ago. And she always told me to follow my heart. And if I have questions about anything, I may not. You know, I can be by myself. And if I'm not in agreement with you or if I'm not in agreement with a situation, I can always retreat to my house. So my house is like my castle. And I guess I can say to God, and I am an old AME church person, the biggest thing that happened in my life was I was a smoker. I smoked when I started smoking when I was 16. And I was never one for praying. But when I was getting ready to turn 60. I'm 59 now, but when I was turning 50, I got on my knees and I prayed and I said, God, I don't want to go into my 50s smoking. And within a week, I cold turkey. Hadn't smoked since then. And it came from him because I tried smoke, uh, quitting all those years. And that is like the biggest thing in my life. I have sarcoidosis. So I know that's something that can kill me, but I pray and it's in remission. And I haven't had any problems. My doctor says, I don't know, it didn't disappear, it just stopped. So I feel blessed in that way. And so I guess within, my birthday was May 5th. And this is the year that I wanted to make changes in my life. I was, I started my own business. So if you see junk behind me, I'm a sewer. Um, I make quilts. And so I went to school and I learned how to get with the women and know how to make quilts. And so I have, a, I'm starting a business on that. And I wanted to take care of my spiritual life. And I had to look very deep to find out which way I wanted to go is not to be forced into anything, 
but something that's going to take care of me spiritually and mentally. And that's why I came to Islam. Great. Excellent. And all those are very positive indications that I hear. The one thing that you are in your sister's relation, I mean, your daughter's relationship is marvelous because it's so hard to come these days. I'm so glad that you have a very good, strong relationship with your daughter. All affairs you address to him, no matter how you, it channels you through the proper channel. You were just, you know, it, it was like, you know, World Wide Web, you were appealing to someone. But the one who hears is the only one. He is the one who hears. He's the one who knows. He's the one who fulfills the needs. And that is Allah, as we call it. And we went through those, you know, in the class that we are supposed to worship him alone. He uh, then believed that he is one and he has the angels. He has sent the message. He, we know that he has given the message to the messengers. There's going to be an end of life. Everyone is going to have an end of life. And there is a permanent life after this. And God is in charge of in all of our affairs. He is completely in control of the entire destiny. And then we do the five pillars as we know it. You are coming to the first pillar. And again, I reiterate to you and to everybody who comes into Islam, and there are sisters on now that are noting it down, and they will. I will pass on your information to them. Trust me, they will be overnight. They will become your real sisters. You can question them. They will question you. If you need something, they will come to you. This is the nature of the brotherhood of Islam. Okay, no matter what color you are, no matter what background you came from, it does not matter. We are nearly two billion people in the world. And I told you the password is salam, peace. You give salam to somebody from India, you give salam to somebody in China or in America. We are your, suddenly your brothers and sisters. And that is, the, that is the biggest advantage. And these are some of the best nights, the best days. In one of the narration, in the, the, in the revelation that God Almighty has given in the Quran says, this is better than thousand nights. So if we were to achieve that, then it is like for 84 years of worship, just one night of worship is equivalent to 84. One good deed is equivalent to 84 years of good deed. So there is, you're opening up an account which is, you know, limitless reward, okay? So from okay. now on, whatever you ask, ask the one, the true God. You may not know the word, but you, in your heart you say, oh, almighty God, you are the one who looks after me, this is my need. And he will fulfill that need. Okay? So when your daughter is in town, and we can send you the recording also, you can keep it to show her, but you have to continue that relationship. But one thing I would like to say, because many people come with spousal relationship to me, right? They're getting into a relationship based on Islam. I tell them one thing, that, your relationship with your creator is the strongest of all relationships because people, brothers and sisters, husband and wives, or fathers and uh, children, they depart from this world. But that relationship with your God continues whether you are in this world or in the hereafter. And we would like to make that relationship so strong by being obedient to his commands to the best of our ability. And that relationship will continue even after life. And it is said that after life, you can ask God for the ones that you love to be with you. And that is a possibility. That is why we need to give this message so we are all on the same path. The path of Islam that God loves so much. Okay? okay. You have any questions? You're sure you're free? You're uh, no compulsion, no nothing. Right? That's true. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what we will do, is uh, let me check if there's any any sister or anybody who would like to uh, you know ask any uh, a question in a minute. They all seem to be okay. The sisters are okay with you. Okay. All right. I know it's kind of little. You know, it does get because. 
it touches your heart. It touches my heart. I've been, as I wrote to you, I've been humbled from the time I've been corresponding with you. There are two other sisters that I've been corresponding to you. Now imagine the other people are still taking time. Today, tonight is your time, sister, because you, your Lord chose to bless you this night, this time. So it is a very blessing, a very blessed time for you. Okay, and so I ask Almighty God to bless you with the goodness of this world and all the goodness of the hereafter. Make your affairs easy for you and you and your relationship with your with your siblings and with your children to be strong, bondful. Okay? okay, so you would repeat you would repeat after me first in Arabic and then in English translation. Okay, okay, I will go word by word. Very simple. Okay, Ashhadu. Ashhadu an la in la ilaha ilaha illallah illallah wa wa ashhadu ashhadu anna anna muhammadan muhammadan abduhu abduhu wa Wa Rasuluhu. Rasuluhu. Subhanallah, you did a great job. Let's do the translation now. You have surprised many people as though you've been practicing. I bear witness. <laughs> I bear witness. That there is no God worthy of worship. That there is no God worthy of worship. Except Allah alone. Except Allah alone. Having no partners. Having no partners. I also bear witness. I also bear witness. That Prophet Muhammad. That Prophet Muhammad. Upon him be peace. Upon him be peace. Is Allah's slave and messenger. Is. A messenger. Mes messenger. Takbir. So we say glorify to God Almighty because. He chose you for this, Sister Farah. She is going to be your mentor, one of them. And she will... Go ahead, Sister Farah. Welcome, Sister Jeanette. We're so happy. We're so, so grateful to God for this opportunity. And um, like Brother you know, said, we're your sisters right here. And, and he'll give you our contact information. Please, please reach out to us. And we'd like to, to reach out to you and welcome you. And especially during the special time in Ramadan and one of the best nights of Ramadan, mashallah. May Allah bless you and give you health. So Thank usually, you. usually we would do this in the mosque and people would swarm you like bees, hugging you and uh, congratulating you. And they would love to do that to you. But because of the con conditions and circumstances, whenever God opens up the, 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 uh, you know, the affairs, then we will get back again. But right now, you are still connected with the strong bond between the uh, between the brothers and sisters. Okay? okay, I'm going to give that gift to one of the sisters, Sister Tassin. She's on, and because she lives in Morrisville, she's going to contact you. And trust me, the sisters will come to you. If you want to come to them, they will come to. But it's a great thing that you do the quilts. I mean, I'm impressed with, I'm, I'm sure you got some real, and you know, <laughs> I we hope do have, so. <laughs> no, no, we do have people who love it because I would have shown one of the quilts that we have at our center, a beautiful eight by 10 long hanging on the wall. And uh, that was, you know, given by someone and you would love it, but I'm so glad. Is there anything we can do for you now or, you know? Um... I just been reading, so I guess I just continue to do that. Um, I go back to work tomorrow, so um, okay. I, I'm a read while I'm working, and I, I just um, study and try to get real. I'm. It's just. I sure. just no, no, but, no worries. Um, Don't worry. I I do have, like I told you earlier, I do have a Quran with the English translations and I have the audio books on so doing them both at the same time so I can get familiar. And I do have a, 
a book, another book I saw that I just wanted to read um, about a hand through the door for my new sister. So that's kind of working in part with me reading the Quran and everything. So, okay. So don't, don't overwhelm yourself. Okay. You are a Muslim in full terms because that is all you know today. So you are a full Muslim, just like I'm trying to be a Muslim. You are God for, for Almighty God. For you, you're so blessed that all your previous sins have been forgiven. That is one of the guarantee that we envy. That is why we ask you to pray for us also. And we will, I will give you some, you know, in the background, you could listen to the Quran, even though it's in Arabic. Even I do not understand it completely, but mm -hmm. you don't have to understand. But it gives you that peace of mind, okay? Just keep listening to it especially when you get a chance to read the story of, of uh, Mary, for example, chapter 19. Okay. You read how, the, uh, how Mary was blessed with a child with, no, with God's command, the birth of Jesus Christ, the story of Abraham in the Quran, and so forth. So one thing at a time, take your time, and you will get there, okay? And okay. if you need anything, please don't hesitate at any time. Email, text, or call. Okay, I will. I most certainly will. For the pleasure. And is there anything else? Anybody else has anything? Okay. So in that case, have a wonderful night. Have a wonderful Ramadan. And may God bless you. And for, for, for this life and for eternity, inshallah. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Assalamu alaikum. Have a good night. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum.